I don't think you're going to like this. I think you're going to love this. Is this the best card box on the market? Let's find out. G'day champion, how are you? Welcome back to Murphy's Magic Stumped. My name of course is Bo Creamer. Thank you so much for joining me on this absolutely delicious Tuesday. Now this effect was released last week and not only did you have a bunch of questions about it, but I do as well. I really want to dive into this effect and check it out in its entirety. So I thought what better way to answer all your questions and mine than with an episode of Stumped. Also, if you want a chance to win a card magic bundle, stick around to it later on in the episode where I show you how to enter that competition. Now today's episode of Stump is going to be a little bit different than previous episodes. Today I want to sit down and watch the full explanation, then do my review, and then in a couple of days time sit down with John and get his thoughts on why he did those certain things. Because I'm sure he has some stories to tell. So the segments in this episode will be broken up with my thoughts and reviews, followed by John's thoughts and ideas on why he did those certain things. But first things first, let's check out the trailer right now. I don't think you're going to like this. I think you're going to love this. Hi, I'm John Allen, and this is Destination Box. Since Bruno Hennig first created the Carter Box effect, it has become a classic of magic. There have been many versions, but there's never been one like Destination Box. I've been using Destination Box for over two decades. Every group at every event would experience a fun and engaging start to my performance. Who is the most trustworthy person sitting around this table? You're getting quite a lot of votes there. Never trust anyone who puts their hand on that <laughs> Leading to an impossible finale. A folded card. I'm not going to look, I'll only know by your reactions, and especially yours, Courtney. All that performance experience is offered to you in the video tutorial, so you can also deliver one of the strongest effects in close-up magic. A card is selected and signed, followed by whichever card routine you like. You take the box back, and this is what happens. There's a mystery bag or a mysterious oh. silver box. Which one of these shall mystery I use? Bag, a mystery bag. The mystery bag? Yeah. I will use the bag to tap the box because inside the box, I think oh, I got not. I think I got away with that. There is no way, there is just no way. No, no, there is no, just no, 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 no way. No, no. I'm gonna do this as no fairly way. as I possibly can. No way. <laughs> I don't think you're going to like this. I think you're going to love this. <laughs> Are you joking? I've been getting jaw-dropping and speechless reactions with this for over 20 years. Destination Box is unique amongst all Carter boxes. It is securely padlocked. It is 100% examinable. There are no limitations on the style of playing card used. The person who signed the card can even remove it themselves. You can change the item to be found during your performance. It is a feature item for close-up, parlor, or stage. Destination Box is more than just a magic prop. It is a high-quality, carefully crafted, bespoke item that helps you engage with your audience, create rapport, and set up your performance. While many magicians use it for card to box, it offers so much versatility. Ring to box, signed bill to box, headline prediction, brainwave prediction, and even a watch steal finale. If you want to perform the strongest, most incredible card to box possible, and so much more, you need destination box. Oh, this 
looks so good. I can't wait to dive into this and find out actually what John's gonna teach and how examinable the box really is. Now without any further ado, let's jump straight into the explanation. Okay, so the explanation is loaded up, ready to go. I can see off the bat that it goes for one hour, 20 minutes and 28 seconds. Let's get into it. Oh, that's really smart. Okay, very clever. Oh, I love that touch. I love that touch. It's the little things that matter. Oh, baby. I love that routine. That is a really, oh man, that's such a good routine. Uh, I'll discuss more of that later. We'll get back to that. Oh, I can't believe that happened to him. That would drive me insane if a spectator did that and he handled that so well. Well done, John. Well done. That is super good. That, oh man. I'm definitely going to be performing that. That is, oh, I love that. I love that so much. Hey, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't even. I did not even see that move. That was beautiful, clean. Ooh. Can I just say, I love watching John teach stuff. He's really informative. He's entertaining. It's, you can tell he's a performer. He knows what he's doing. He's comfortable in front of a camera. Oh, I could watch him all day. And look, I'm going to watch him for another 47 minutes. All right, see you later, John. Thank you so much, my friend. So that is the explanation done, dusted, finished, kaput. Let's jump into the full breakdown and the interview with John Allen. This portion of the show is brought to you by the inflatable magic wand. Just blow them up and watch the fun. So to give you a little taste of the interview, here's the introduction from Future Bo and John. Thank you so much, John, for joining us. I really appreciate it, my friend. I know you just landed in America. You're in New York City right now. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, I woke up at, was it six, 5.45 this morning I woke up. Oh, man. What time did you get in yesterday? You're, you're obviously jet lagged a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and now there's a party uh, next door too, isn't there? At 10 a.m. There, there is a party going on. I think it was in my honor, but yeah. I'm too tired. No, so what, what time is it? It's quarter to 11 in the morning here. Uh, I landed, what time did I land? I don't know, like 10 o'clock, something like that. Drove to the hotel oh. and uh, fell asleep, woke up too early. And now I'm talking to you oh. with a party going on next door. <laughs> what better way to start this? There's no better way to start your day than no sleep, a party, and then a magic interview. So I appreciate it. Thank you so much. If, if I do fall asleep, just wake me up. Hey, if you fall asleep, I'm going to fall asleep and we're just going to have a good time just napping on video. So it's, it's going to be, it's going to be, get, it'll go viral. It will. It'll be just like, how good is this interview? The two people involved in it have fallen asleep. We probably should jump into why you're here. Um, yes. I really want to talk to you about Destination Box. Yeah. Yeah. Business space now. Business space. <laughs> Destination Box. Can you tell me maybe like a little 30 second elevator pitch on it? For those who've just come in and heard the name Destination Box, what is it? Destination Box is the greatest Carter Box ever created. Well, I'll set them quite high. The the thing with it's not just the car to box. That's the that's the thing. Uh, it could be a ring to box. It could be a, a prediction. It could be any small item that can appear inside the box. You can put it in there. Um, and also, um, it's the actual. If you're doing car to box, it's the actual card. There's no gimmicks or anything like that. So um, yeah, it's it's just the greatest car to box ever created. How good was that introduction? They nailed what they said. Oh, okay, so that is the explanation done. It was such a treat to watch. John is so much fun. Now let's jump into the full breakdown on everything that you're gonna learn in this tutorial video and in this release itself. Starting with the explanation, how is it shot? Is it well shot? Does it sound good? Is it lit well? Yes, absolutely. It's shot in a studio by John himself and covers many camera angles. What you're seeing on screen right now is exactly how this looks if you were to watch this at home. The audio is crystal clear and like I mentioned just a second ago, there's multiple camera angles so you're never going to miss a thing. Plus what's more, John goes over things several times, so I really want to set in concrete right now that you're never going to miss anything and you're well informed through the entire explanation video. Okay, so now you may be wondering what is the price point of this boat? How much is the destination box going to cost me? Well, great question, my friend. It is available for $199.95. Now you may be thinking, 
well, that's a bit pricey for a box. Well, yes, if it was just the box, 100% it would be, but you're not just getting the box. You're also getting 20 years of uh, putting through the ringer, this box, this performance, this routine to get you the best thing possible. And you're also not just gonna learn the card to box in the explanation video. You're going to learn so much more, which we'll go over later on in the episode where we go over the what are you taught section, but there is so much information in this one explanation video that will set you up for a lifetime. So 20 years of a routine that John has put to work time and time again to get it down pat for you. Oh, you, you can't get any better, more value than that. Now, if that's enough for you and you wanna pick it up right now, there's a link in the description below to a magic shop or you can get it worldwide at your favorite magic shop. Now, I'm going to talk in like a Penn and Teller style full last chat here. So if you know what I'm talking about, you know exactly what I'm talking about, but I'm not going to reveal anything for laymen out there because that's not what we're here to do. Now also, let's be honest, no laymen have gotten this far in the video. If you are by any chance, welcome. I really appreciate you for tuning in and you're more than welcome to try and decipher all the hints I'm giving through this whole review show. Now you may be wondering, Bo, what's the skill level of this? How much do I have to practice to get this down? Well, you need a skill level of an intermediate magician to do this. Now the moves themselves are really basic beginner level moves, but there are things other than that in the explanation video, which John goes over that you need to get down. People who know me and, and the magic that I put out, I don't do difficult sleight of hand. You know, there, there is a move, it's really simple, but it's also motivated. There's uh, some timing that, that, that's taught, natural misdirection that's taught. Um, so everything is really simple to do. Ultimately, this comes down to a real worker that wants to go out there and perform this every day. You're going to need to know certain things about your performance style to be able to incorporate this into your routine. After all, this is not just a card to box. Well, you could use it for a card to box, but John actually describes in the explanation video that he wants this box to create moments between you and your spectators, which is exactly what he does. Now, what's inside the box? Well, uh, this is the packaging. Now, a lot of people know that uh, this is, it's kind of a re-release because the original Destination Box came out, oh, like 20 odd years ago, something like that. Um, so uh, it's a completely redesigned box and that is what the Destination Box looks like. And inside of the sleeve is another Destination Box. And inside this one, you'll find the actual uh, Destination Box. So uh, this, this is what it looks like. I don't know which is my best side, either this side or this side. I'll That's go that side. Beautiful. So this is the, the destination box. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice a couple of things straight off the bat. Uh, first of all, it is quite big. Uh, that has quite a few advantages, actually, which we can talk about later. But what is inside your destination box? Well everything that you're going to need to use to be able to perform this incredible piece of magic. Now, I'm sorry, I'm just going to leave it at that. Everything inside this box is secret and held close to anyone that owns Destination Box. Now, this leads up to the question, how is this different from the original Destination Box that John released 20 years ago? Well, those that own the original Destination Box, you've already picked up on how different this is to the original Destination Box. Now, how is this different to other card boxes out there? Well, this is already a larger style box, which I think is incredible. Uh, you actually carry this up to a table. It doesn't fit in your pocket really well, which I really love. And also John describes this in the explanation video that you carry it everywhere. It already creates a conversation piece when you walk up to a table, which is beautiful for those ice breaking moments. So if you're new to magic and you don't know how to go up and introduce yourself to a table to perform for them, this is the thing that's gonna set you in motion for that. Because if you walk up to a table holding a nice wooden box with a padlock on it, they're already gonna ask you a question, what's inside that box? Plus also what's different from this card to box to other card to boxes is this allows for other objects and multiple cards to box. I know, right? I'll let that sink in. I've, I've had people message me and I've seen written online the fact that it's so big, you know, and. and it's larger than every other box, but I'm not exactly wheeling it behind me on a trolley, you know, and it's, it's, not, it's not in my pocket ready to come out, you know, mid-performance. I'm holding on to it. I, I, you know, engage with the audience and then I give it out to someone and I put it on the table. Or maybe I just come up to a group of table because obviously every table or group of people is different. 
I'll just come out and I'll just leave it on the table. So there is no issue about it, you know, with pocket space or anything like that. It doesn't go in the pocket. I'm holding it. It goes on the table. That's it. Now you may be asking, Bo, who is going to be performing Card the Box? This is only good for stage or parlor, right? Absolutely not. I originally thought the same thing, but this is perfect. This is built for close up walk around scenarios. For pretty much 15 years, I, I mean, I predominantly close up walk around tables. I started and finished, honestly, every single table and group of people with this. Opened with it, closed with it, every group for pretty much 15 years. So it is absolutely uh, perfect for close up and, and parlor as well. That, that's why I said it, it's a feature item. Mm -hmm. If you had just a, 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 a little box, it gets lost when you're doing parlor or stage. But with the destination box, you know, the, the, this is, this is a, a hefty piece and yes. uh, it's, it, it can be used for close-up, for parlor, for stage, for mentalism and magic as well. Whoa, I love uh, that. Now yeah. you've opened up a whole, you've opened up a chest of worms there with that. I should have, I should have led with that probably. <laughs> <laughs> we can never jump into that. The reset time is insanely quick. John actually shows it on the explanation video and you reset in less than five seconds. And you can also reset it at a table right in front of your audience. And what's more personal than at a table, getting signed cards, getting rings, getting watches, getting objects from your spectators to make them appear inside this box. Beautiful for close up, but also perfect for that stage and parlor show that you know you want to perform with this. Now let's break up this explanation for just a second for the mid episode giveaway. But before we get into this week's giveaway, let's find out who won last week's bundle. Now drum roll, please. Congratulations, my friend. You're the winner of last week's bundle. If you could email me just here, I'll get that prize out to you quicker than you can do a backflip. Some say he's still trying to perform that backflip. Now onto this week's giveaway. If you want a chance to win the card effect bundle, all you need to do is comment below what you would have appear inside the destination box, whether it's a ring, card, watch, a peg or a magnet with a little cat on it. Whatever it is, let me know in the comment section below. I'll choose someone out at random and you'll be announced in next week's video. So good luck. Also, if you haven't checked out last week's episode of Stumped, make sure you do card on screen right now. Check it out straight after this episode. I break down absolutely everything you need to know about this incredible effect. Now you may be wondering, Bo, earlier on in the episode, you mentioned what you're going to learn in this explanation video. I wanna know. Well, you've reached that part of this video right now, my friend. So let's get into what you're going to learn. Now, not only do you learn the classic card to box and the moves and techniques to be able to perform this, but also multiple card to box, ring to box. And if you love predictions, you learn a headline prediction plus a charity prediction. Plus a, you learn a lot. You learn so many more routines in this release. You're also gonna learn the ins and outs of the box and how to handle it, how to use it, how to do everything you're going to need to do to be able to perform this incredible piece of magic. You're going to learn all your slides, timing, scripting, everything you're going to need to know. Plus, you're also gonna learn how to handle your spectators if they take the box and don't give it back. John actually goes over quite a few real world scenarios where this has happened to him and how he handled it. I did have one person that, it was a corporate event, it was a high-end corporate event. I give this box to someone, I swear, he tried to open up the hinges with a fork. So, yeah. He, uh, he didn't survive long. So, so I can just hand this out straight away and, and not be worried that anyone's going to uh, take a look and, and see what's inside it. So um, that's just one of, the, uh, one of the major differences with the destination box. He also goes over how to find that perfect spectator to hand it to. It w I was thinking about putting this on the trailer. Didn't. But when I ask, you know, I ask someone to look after this, there was one in particular I remember. Uh, so, uh, a few people were pointing to this woman, but she was not putting her hand up. So, of course, I, I go to her and they say, you know, some people think you're trustworthy, but you don't. What do you do for a living? And I swear this is true. She said, police officer. And so, you know, there's just built-in entertainment by 
talking to your audience. And so I did, I did give it to her to, to look after. I mean, I kept an eye on her. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. You know, you know um, but it, it's that sort of thing that, that, that I love what, what destination box offers me. And also creating those moments with your spectators with this wooden box. I just got to say for the hour and 20 minutes that I watched this explanation, I was never bored. I was enthralled through the whole thing and I learned so much and how John thinks and how he performs his set. Really, really informative and so much good ideas and techniques in here. Trust me. And also if you have any of John's other releases, you know how informative and professional and descriptive and well put together his explanation videos are. You definitely get your bang for your buck. Now, is this video likable? Well, yes, absolutely. Just like the destination box is 100% likable and lovable. If you want to like this video, please do. The button is just down there. It helps out the video loads, lets the algorithm know that you're enjoying it, lets me know that you're enjoying it, and it puts it out to other people that might also find this interesting. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Now the box itself, is it examinable? Well, yes, 100%. It's meant to be handed out to the spectator, to be handled, to be touched, to be held, to be used. It is 100% examinable and definitely should be given out to your spectators. Uh, the other thing is it's padlocked. So I think when you, when you give out a box to someone, there's an opportunity for them just to let me have a look, see what's inside it, and then completely ruin the trick for you. So I can hand this out and be completely confident that nobody is going to open it. They may be wondering, Bo, this must be really difficult to pull off. There must be terrible angles on this. Well, absolutely not. The angles that are covered by John in detail in the explanation video are really, really, really informative and really well thought out. Like I mentioned, 20 years of thinking about this. He's thought about every angle, every reason why you need to be doing the things you need to be doing. There's never a moment where you were going, hang on, that doesn't make sense. Why is he touching that? Why is he doing this? Everything makes sense. From handing the box to the spectator, to unlocking the box, to having the spectator open the box and find their card inside. Everything is well thought out and covered. Now, one thing I do want to point out, you probably never see a full performance of this online anywhere. This is because that won't give it justice. As John describes in the explanation, he hands this box out at the beginning of his performance. So if you wanted to see a full performance, like an uncut performance, you probably see a 45 minute long video where he gives this out, does his whole routines, uses the card, uses the deck, uses objects throughout the entire set and at the end gets the box back off the spectators. So it'll be a really long full performance video. But if you're wondering about secret moves, those eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed a couple in the actual trailer. I know you're going to go back and watch it again now, aren't you? Because after I spoke to John and he told me this, I went back and watched the trailer again and then I saw them. They were so good, they were hidden in plain sight. Okay, so let's kind of wrap this up into a nice little bundle. There's been many variations of Bruno Henning's classic card box, but none comes close to the destination box. John Allen has consistently created some of the most sought after magic tricks for over the past 20 years with the destination box being at the top of the list. For over 15 years, he's opened and closed almost every close up set with it. Many professionals have done the same. When John Allen releases something into the magic community, you know it will be professional level quality and this has been thought through, worked on and performed in the real world. There will also not be any difficult sleight of hand to worry about, and the destination box is no exception. Now, ideally, what would you like from your card to box? Card in the box is the actual signed card. There's no need to switch the card. Feel safe that only you can open the box. Use any style of playing card. Have a box suitable as a feature item and adapt the box to your own style or theme of an event. The destination box delivers all of these, plus the ability to perform other routines with including side note to box, headline prediction, brainwave prediction, confabulation, what's still finale, and so much more. Now the destination box is a remarkable multi-purpose item that can get you jaw-dropping reactions. The instructional video teaches you every aspect of performing destination box, and making the most of John's 20 years experience with it, as well as how you can use the box to connect with people and improve your performances. And anyone that has the original destination box, you already know how incredible and how amazing it is. So if you want to see more on the destination box, there's a link in the description below right now to a magic shop, or you can get it worldwide at your favorite magic shop for $199.95 and your skill level of an intermediate magician to do it. Now I'm sure myself and John are going to talk about something that's completely different and irrelevant to the release, but if it's funny enough, I want to insert it just here. So future Bo editing this, if there is something good, 
please insert it right now. But I, I will I will just say that um uh and it's it it sounds like of course I'm gonna say this, but I, I genuinely do mean it, is uh this you know, I I've created quite a few things that you know I, I'm lucky enough that magicians have, have taken them on board. Uh but this is something really special to me. Uh it was probably my first major release, even before the the silent treatment. Um, and it, it's something that stayed with me. You know, there, there's a lot of magic that goes in and out of fashion or it's, it's, it's popular for a year or so. Um, but I'm just genuinely, uh, honored, I guess, that magicians are still asking for the destination box after all this time. Um, and it's, it's, it's something I do. Uh, I mean, with all the magic that I release, I don't just put out toys for magicians. The, these are things that I actually perform and this genuinely gets me the like some of the strongest reactions that uh, that i've ever had from from anything that that i've ever done so it it's genuinely something that um i love performing um and, and i hope people um get to experience the sort of reactions that, that i get no i i really wanted to actually thank you for this because i saw the trailer, as soon as I saw the trailer and the amount of work you've put into this, jump straight onto the tutorial. And there's been a lot of work, a lot of thought, a lot of years put into this. And that's one thing people don't either get, I guess as well, that, that they get a box, they don't understand that you've put 20 years of practice and hard work and performances and upgrading into this to make it what it is. You've thought of every little bit of detail. And I wanted to thank you for that to like release this to the community and to create those moments and to create those those reactions, those jaw-dropping reactions that people are going to love. My pleasure. I really need to get some sleep. Yes, I was get, all go join the party next door. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, you're, you're lecturing tonight, so everyone who's going to be seeing this has obviously already seen you lecture, but you're lecturing. Um, um, well, I've got this mini uh, lecture tour, which uh, will still be going on, I think, when this is released. Uh, right. So I'm I'll doing New York. I'm in Yonkers, I'm in Tannins on the 19th. I think I'm in Virginia, Fairfax, Virginia. Many hours later. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. You're going to have a great time. Looking forward to it. And I will get over jet lag by those. Maybe. But Maybe don't, don't, don't allow yourself to get over to it. Make it just those weird gerbil gold bar lectures. It'll be good. You're stuck on the gold bars and gerbils. This is not... I, I am going to make this a thing now. I'm going to ask the warehouse team to insert gerbils and gold bars into some of your products. <laughs> Just, just to, you know. Even the really thin packet ones. Mm -hmm. Okay. Even if it's just a picture of a gold bar, you know. Oh, okay. That works. The, the disclaimer is now coming up again. I um, may not contain gold bars or gerbils. But, <laughs> but Go. Thank you. Go. Get out of here. But thank you so much, yeah. John. You have an incredible day, my friend. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. See ya. Yes, mate. Bye. bye. <laughs> We'll edit this bit out. <laughs> oh, no, this is staying in. This whole bit is staying in. <laughs> I wish that interview went longer. I had a good time chatting with John. Not only was he funny, but really informative. And I wish we could have talked for hours, but I know you probably wouldn't want to see that. So that is the really short cut down version of everything that you need to know from that interview with John Allen. Now, please let me know if you did enjoy the interview crossover. I do want to evolve it and adapt it for future week's episodes. So you come to Stumped and you get all the information you'll ever need about this effect. So let me know in the comment section below if you did enjoy it. I really do appreciate it. But that's it. That's the end of the episode. If you do have any questions on anything you've seen in this episode, please throw them in the comment section below. I know myself and John will be reading the comment section. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and we'd be happy to answer each and every single one. Now I'll let you go back to your Tuesday champion. So thanks again for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll see you tomorrow on a What's New This Week on Saturday for our Saturday Sorcery or over there on our Discord for our weekly jams, trivia, games, hangouts, and even more. Now take care. See you later. Bye for now. Whoa, hey, whoa, what's that? Oh, you should definitely check out that. Oh, there's so much good magic in there. You won't regret it. Hey, whoa, hey, look at this bad boy. You should definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Subscribe. Then watch that. Oh, it's a good day to treat yourself. <laughs>